But that's, that's what we got to do, man. Um, and that, you know, that's going to play out in so many different ways. People need to understand that if you're struggling today, tonight, whatever, that you're free to struggle. But you're also not struggling with you. And one of, one of the ways that plays out is, what about the times when you just don't even have any fight left? Do you know what I'm saying? You're like, I don't even have the power to even feel like I'm struggling. I'm so worn thin, I just, I just give up before the day even starts. Listen, anyone that's got kids, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I just had a couple of girls the last couple of years, and for a good, like, 18-month stretch, I don't think I slept in the night. For, you know, and people are like, how hard is it being out on the road? I'm like, I don't know. You should ask my wife. <laughs> when I'm out on the road, I get to sleep. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Jeff. Jeff's Jeff got a boy named Simon. How old is Simon? He's 18 months. He's like, hey, I'm <laughs> I do have two girls. What's their name? Riley and Kevin. They're four and two. That means they don't have kids. They don't have <laughs> no, they're, they're a joy, but parents right there, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm turning in my dad. They're a lot of work. <laughs> And so one morning I was getting up to go ride with Jeff and this other guy named Jason, not that Jason, different Jason, but, and my wife grabs me as I'm rolling out of bed, like, the kids were both up most of the night, so we slept like maybe two hours. And she looks at me and she's like, I am so worn out. And I look at her and I say, suck it up. <laughs> and she killed me. Yeah. I know, baby. I know, baby. We're going to eat through it. We're going to eat through it. <laughs> you have fun watching. I'm going to go ride. <laughs> and I get, I get to the riding session, and I go, Jeff, I don't care what's going on in your life. Today, we are writing a song called Born. That is how I feel. <laughs> I didn't want to say this. And so we wrote this song called Warren, so we're going to play for you next. But um, what's cool, I was listening to a sermon by a guy named Tim Keller, who's a pastor here in New York City, actually. And he was talking about how that earth itself is like a garment. And he was explaining that when you see social injustice, when you see pain, when you see things the way they ought not to be, he said that's like places where the garment has worn through. And so our great privilege as Christian, as a Christian, is to rework the fabric where it's worn out. That to me is kind of a physical analogy of what it means to be a person of redemption. I hope and pray that your deepest heart's desire isn't for judgment and justice. I pray you have a heart that desires mercy, grace, and redemption. Because that's what reworks the fabric. That's what changes our heart, right? Yeah.